Good day, tech readers. Today we'll be discussing LG's K10 budget smartphone, one of our favorite products of the year so far. Uh, this is the successor to the original K10, which we enjoyed so much, we put it on the cover of our March issue. Not a few months later, but LG has updated it with a fingerprint sensor on the back, a metallic finish, and um, a slightly improved screen. Other things that really don't matter to us but seem to matter to other people is a whole range of selfie features that you can use on this phone. For example, you can use gestures to activate the shutter. And uh, when you're taking a picture, you can actually get a bright light around the rim of your viewfinder which illuminates the scene. So it's almost like having a, a front-facing flash on your camera. Uh, both the front and the rear cameras now have much wider angles so you don't cut off any of your mates especially if you've got a lot of mates in the picture and um, something else you might want to consider not the kind of thing you want to think about but a new technology in the screen which LG calls in-cell technology means that the screen can actually go on working even if you run a crack right through the screen not the kind of thing you want to think about but the kind of thing that could be jolly useful in a in a crisis situation um, one of the biggest disappointments of this phone is that it's moved the buttons which LG always had on the rear to the side of the phone and the reason that irritates us is every time you pick the phone up you're activating an app somewhere. We really enjoyed buttons on the back and removed from the sides. Now as you can see the volume rocker is back on the side. That's a bit of a disappointment for us but not a deal breaker. And we still have LG's most important feature that we enjoy on all their phones is the tap to wake feature double tap wakes the phone up every time by far the simplest way to wake up your phone we don't know why every manufacturer hasn't figured that out yet so other important specs is all the usual 4g lte 5.3 inch screen 2 gigabytes of ram perfectly adequate for a phone like this and a 13 sh megapixel shooter on the back 5 megapixel shooter on the front and uh, 16 gigabytes of storage of course a memory card slot and a 2,800 milliamp hour battery. Pretty average for a phone of this kind. But why are we spending so much time talking about this phone? The price. Go out and get the LG K10. You won't be disappointed.